Hi everyone, um, I'm in my room again today. Oh, there's a bit of a glare on this box. Um, today we have um, Power Goals Spectra. I love this box, I think it's absolutely amazing. Um, I love the other two Power Goals we've opened, so I had to get another one. Um, it's just, look at how, how cool it is. A leg is coming through the, through the um, wall in the box. That's what we made it look like anyway. So Spectra of Undergeist, Pel Poltergall, she looks really cool in the box, she comes with a comic book again, um, and then there's a little picture of her in the corner, I love the way um, these bits on the side of the box, they look really cool, I think she was originally from Argos by the looks of it, but I got this off eBay, I think she was around £13, so she was a bargain, Monster High, Gory Gazette, Poltergall, Monster High's sinister plan to replace Monster High's water supply with milk has been foiled by the hauntingly heroic Poltergall. That's all it says, the rest is in other languages. Who could this be? And then there's Claudine Wolf, the last one we reviewed. So yeah, there she is on the back, the cool illustration of her. I love these boxes as well, they're just really cool. So I'm just going to get Spectra out, and or Poltergall, and then we will have a closer look at her. Just wanted to quickly show you without the cover off. Look how cool that is. Her foot is coming through the wall. <laughs> Amazing. You've got like the, the clock there. She's floating with all her chains. It's amazing. You can see the stand there. So she doesn't come with a, uh, what do you call it, a uh, saddle stand either. I understand why Claudine didn't anyway because it wouldn't work with the shorts. So yeah. She looks really cool in her box. Shame to get her out, but I'm gonna be back in a moment. Okay, so she's out the box and wow, she's amazing. I really like her. She looks so cool. And her hair is, oh, so silky, sorry. She fell over, so silky, wow. That is some really beautiful hair. It's so soft, so silky, so straight. It's really nice. Um. She's really, really beautiful. This is definitely the best Spectra. We've only got um, Dot Dead Spectra and oh, Haunted Spectra. So it's nice to have another Spectra. Oh, put her arms down a minute. So here is a really, I'll tell you, I'll show you her hair first. I did kind of show you it. So it's purple. I think it's the same as it always is because um, Dot Dead Spectra has this colour hair and it's really straight like this. Obviously Haunted Spectra's hair is very different. Um, and then here's a really pretty headband which is chains. It goes around her head. Best thing to do is leave these elastics in place because I don't think you'd be able to get it back on if you didn't. And here's her really beautiful eyes. Short purple eyebrows. Uh, Grey eyes with blue and then she's got like a, a bit of a silver line around her eyes. And then she has this really beautiful pink mask over her face, which I think looks really nice. Really pretty um, pink shimmery makeup. And then she has chain earrings with the pow at the bottom. Like uh, Claudine had on her earrings, but she just had the pow bit at the top. And it has skeletons in them, which is really cool. And then she has this chain cape thing around, it joins here, and it goes round onto her arms. And I think it's really cool, and it's, it's really soft, so you can actually still bend her arms with this on, and I'll show you in just a moment, sorry, I'm just moving. <laughs> um, yeah, because I'm sitting on the floor. <laughs> I love her hands, they're amazing, the fact that they're really see-through so cool the first time um, I ever got a spectra I was like wow that's just so cool that they did that and her feet are the same I think most people probably seen a spectra doll by now but um so let me try and bend her arms I can do it with one hand so as you can see with this cape on you can still bend her arms still works look even with the cape on she still does not stop her from moving at all. 
because it's nice and soft. And then her dress is so pretty. It's all silver around the outside. All the stitching is silver. And then she has a silver skillet on it. And then she's got all these um, patterns on it. These pink patterns with dots. It's really, really nice. Nice little shape. It kind of reminds me of the, the fear leading um, shape of the dress. That's just me though. But it, it looks like that kind of shape. And then she's got like this ball and chain belt. It's really nice. And it's... Um, if it's got anything on it, it just looks a bit scuffed and scratches and stuff on it. I don't know if it's supposed to be anything, but... And then, here's our really cool boots. They're silver, and they've got loads of chains all over them. And there's a really cool legs in the back, which I'll take off in just a moment. I'm sure you've seen Spectra's feet before, but I want to have a look at them, because they're so cool. And there's her chains all over her heels the bottom of her feet, her shoes. Okay, so I'm just going to take her, her shoes off. Give you a moment. She is. I love her feet. They're just so cool. Look how amazing they are. They go clear at the bottom. I just, I love Spectra's feet and hands. They're amazing. Still love them now. <laughs> I just had to show them. And then... Yeah, here's her beautiful face again. So she comes with this black stand that she's on and she also comes with the brush, the black brush and her um, comic book. So I'm just going to show you the comic book. Paul to Ghoul. Here we go. So it doesn't have words in it because it's the international one. But you can kind of see what's going on by the pictures. Maybe I'll find like an English version and read it and then I'll be able to tell what it says. What's going on if I can't figure it out. Okay. This page. And then that's it, and then it's uh, it's got Claudine on the back of it. She is supposed to be the next one. So I'm just going to pop her shoes back on and then, um, won't be a moment. So I've popped her shoes back on. I just wanted to say I'm going to, um, I have some more bo more Monster High dolls um, in their boxes to review, to unbox. But I also have a lot of other Monster High dolls that I never reviewed. They're out of their boxes. I do have parts of the boxes because I cut the boxes up. Um, so I can still show illustrations of the dolls. And if I can't, I can show them on my my tablet. And I thought it would be nice to review them as well. Um, in between not having boxed Monster High dolls. Because I like reviewing Monster High dolls. Because they're my favourite thing to collect. And um, there might be some times where I can't, be, I can't buy the Monster High Dolls in box, but I have tons of them out of box, if you know what I mean. And also have Ever After High Dolls to review as well. So I could even review some of those that I have never reviewed as well. The girls still have Ever After High Dolls to review too from Amy's birthday. Um, it's just taken us a while to get through them all. Hence why I'm doing the Monster High at the moment, because it's just easier. Because... You know, the girls want to do stuff as well, because it's half term at the moment. Not half term. The summer holidays, obviously. And we've um, we've been swimming this week to the Bedford Oasis, and then we went to Whipsnade Zoo today. So we've been very busy this week, so we haven't been able to do many reviews. So, uh, yeah. So I thought it'd be good if I could do a couple of Monster High ones tonight. Because the Monster High fans might be missing the Monster High dolls because we might not upload in a lot of other stuff this week. <laughs> so uh, let us know what you think of Spectra. I mean, I love her. I think she's amazing. I love everything about her. I love the Power Ghouls. I just think they're so cool. And I'll quickly um, show you on the shelves. Sorry about the camera um, angle mess. Um, so that there's a... Um, what's her name? <laughs> I can't remember, oh, Voltageous. And then here is Wonder Wolf. So they're the other two we've reviewed. If you want to 
look at those reviews. Um, you can look back into them. We haven't reviewed Catastrophe, and we probably won't because she is crazy money. She is really expensive um, online, and I don't really want to spend that amount of money for her because I'm sure she's amazing as well. But, um, yeah, um, I don't want to spend the money on uh, Catastrophe. So until she goes down in price, we'll just have to make do with these three. But I think these three, do three um, power goals are really amazing. I like all of them. So yeah, let us know what you think of Spectra. Let us know what your favourite power goal is. It probably will be uh, Torelai because I think she's supposed to be the uh, most popular one. That's probably why she is so expensive. But yeah, let us know what you think of Spectra and who your favourite power goal is and uh, comment, like and subscribe and uh, it's always nice to hear from you all so yeah, let us know what you think alright, bye